and you but a new lick. Yeah. All the small talk that you popping off. You ain't nothing but a counterfeit. You reap what you sow, you a lost cause. You're like a fake diamond, you're full of flaws. I just ran your credit and it said fraud. I got my hand Good on my morning. hammer like a god. Ball ring and jaguar, switching four lanes. That's the line that I spit back when I was in the game. Now time didn't change, money got me acting funny. Good morning. Got me paranoid, thinking that they got me honesty, integrity. Good morning, they toy. Get from me. Now I want it back. I want everything they took from me. I'm the last of a dying breed. I need it all. Get my seeds. I got something to do better than me when I D.I.E. Uh, with these words, I paint a perfect picture. I spin a verse at you. You won't know what hit hey. you. Now reach in your pocket and give me what you got. This is a stick up and move on my way to the top. Hey, Boy, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Hey. Ain't no slow motion when you out here being persistent. And the I'm about making money, that's the way that I play They say the love of the money is the root of all evil I got a six cents Good for Good morning! Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Happy Monday! Leave it to Beaver. Better hold on tight, I'm talking cheapest creepers. All right, let's get this show started, ladies and gentlemen. You know what we do on this side of town. Let's get it going. Oh. Yes, I do. I really do, ladies and gentlemen. Show. Good morning. Uh, you know uh, it's time to get busy. A little off to a rocky start, but we will have a, a rocky finish. Yes, hello, Snuggles. I do see you. Uh, so let's get some of the housekeeping out of the way. Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. For those of you who do not know who I am, thank you, Andy. All right, and everyone else. If I didn't say hi to you, it doesn't mean I don't love you. All right, it just means I haven't gotten around to you. All right, so um. Let's get the housekeeping in order, all right? For those of you who do not know who I am, I go by the name Zeus, or as some like to say, Triple H, all right? And why do they call me Triple H? Well, it's quite simple. The first H is for honest, all right? I'm the most honest person on social media. I promise to tell you nothing but the truth, 
So help me God. All right. And then the second H, ladies and gentlemen, is because I am humble. All right. And uh, I'm the most humble person on social media. And, you know, I got somebody in my DMs and they keep complaining. Zeus, how can you say that you're humble? But you, but then you're also Triple H. And I said, well, you voted for Donald Trump, right? And they said, well, yeah, I did. I said, well, how can you be a Christian and vote for Donald Trump, right? <laughs> <laughs> It just works like that, right? So, yes, I'm the most humble person on social media, all right? And then the last H, ladies and gentlemen, is because I am and will always remain the most handsome. There's nobody more handsome than me. All right, now, many of you are familiar with this broadcast and what we do over here. What we do is special on, on social media, all right? This isn't a place to come and debate Zeus or any of my panelists that have the courage and conviction to get in the box. What this is a place about, what this place is about is honesty, integrity, and accountability. And if you don't have any of that in you, I do not want to hear from you. Not on this show. Now, when I do other, when I join other people's lives, or maybe when I do the closet of truth, I'll entertain it. But the morning show is a sacred, sacred, holy place on social media. And I don't want any lies. I don't want any lies floating around in the kingdom bright and early. A lot of people, they listen to the show on their way to work, on their way to dropping their grandmother off to pick up her, her medicine or perhaps go visit her doctor. All right. They listen to this show on their way to school. And the last thing I want to do is poison these people's minds with the lies coming from the right. All right. And so that brings me to my next point. What do we do over here on this side of TikTok? We hold our friends on the right accountable, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, we do for their dirty, disgusting, filthy deeds, as well as their crimes. Yeah. Now, conservative D, I know you're in here. I hope you drop the Democrat part of your name out because you can't be conservative and Democrat. OK, if you got that still in your name, I want you to know, according to my research, you're a fraud. You're living a lie and you're showing us that you're living a lie. So drop the Democrat off of your name, conservative. You're just the conservative. You should change it to the con conservative, all right? Because that, that's what conservatives are for the most part, all right? So uh, let me give you all a heads up, especially to my friends on the right. If you are allergic to the truth, or as my good friend Brother Swervin once said to me once, he did, you are factose intolerant. I'm going to give you the opportunity to exit this live right now, all right? Because what's about to come after this is going to make you feel uncomfortable. It's going to shock you to the core. And in some cases, it's going to make you denounce that you're a Christian. All right, so get up out of this live right now. Now, go ahead, swipe out, all right? If you're driving and you stay here, pull that truck over, all right? But take it from me. You don't got to take it from me. Do what, ladies and gentlemen? Listen to your leader. If you're not happy here, then you can leave. As far as I'm concerned, if you hate our country, if you're not happy here, you can leave. If you're not happy in the U.S., if you're complaining all the time, you. Very simply, you can leave. You can leave right now. Come back if you want. Don't come back. It's okay, too. But if you're not happy, you can leave. All right. And I do mean that, especially to Donald Trump and his supporters. You want to make America great again, if that is possible? Pack your bags right now and leave. If you got a job, quit. If you got a job, quit. Kiss your family goodbye. Get on an airplane or a boat. I don't care how you get there and get out of this country. All right. Make room for the migrants because they would be way better citizens than your behind. All right. I know it's today's Monday, right? It's, it's keep it clean Mondays. I got my keep it clean shirt on. So I'm going to try to be a little bit nicer. But you know what? I got to say this one last thing before I dive into the first topic, which is I, I definitely want to address uh, Donald Trump. Uh, spilling our secrets to this Australian billionaire. I got to talk about that. I really got to talk about it because I don't think folks on the right understand. I was in a live this weekend and they actually had a question. Who do you think would be a better leader, Donald Trump or President Biden? 
And I'm going, are you, is this, is this still something we have to talk about? It's not even debatable. Are we still having, is there still confusion about which of these two leaders, which one's a criminal, which one's not, which one's giving up our classified information, which one's not? Is that still something you're confused about? <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, so, uh. One last thing before I get into what I'd like to do. Now, a lot of people say, Zeus, you're too mean to the Trump supporters. They say I'm too mean to Trump supporters. They say, why are you so mean? Can't you be a lot kinder? And the answer is absolutely not. Right, Ange? Right, Ange? And to all my fellow Democrats out there, we can't be kind to MAGA anymore. Right? Because the gloves, the gloves that we're on, those gloves are now off. It's time for some real tough conversation. Everyone knows he's, and I wouldn't have said this three weeks ago. I wouldn't have said it. I was actually Tell very kind to him. I was very kind to him, but now we can't be kind anymore because the gloves are off. The jar has been opened. Mm. The gloves are off and the jar has been opened. And so with that being the case, to hell with you Trump supporters. All right. <laughs> to hell with you. So I want to start by talking about uh, those secrets. So once again, good morning, my fellow Americans, my Democrats, my independents and real Republicans. All right. I once again sit on this sacred throne. All right. To address another matter of utmost importance, one that has raised concern about the integrity and security of our nation. Tapes of Aussie billionaires bragging has now pulled the curtain back on Donald Trump's presidency once again, suggesting that the former president, Donald Trump, leaked classified information to an Australian billionaire. And if these allegations are true, however far, they will have far reaching implications that demand our attention and demand accountability. And before I go any further, I would like to start by saying this. First and foremost, let me emphasize that the security and well-being of our nation should always be top priority. The United States of America holds a unique position on the global stage and our ability to safeguard our secrets and protect our interests is critical to maintaining our standing in the world. <laughs> Leaking classified information, particularly by former President Donald deranged Trump, is treasonous, reckless, dangerous, and an act that cannot be taken lightly. Yeah, I said it. It undermines the principles of trust, loyalty, and transparency that are vital to the functioning of our democracy. Our leaders must uphold the highest standards of integrity, ensuring that classified information is handled responsibly with the utmost care. I hate to have to teach this to the president, the former president, but it seems like this is government one on one on one for Donald Trump and his MAGA supporters. These allegations of Donald Trump leaking Secrets to an Australian billionaire are deeply, deeply troubling. They not only signify a breach of trust, but also jeopardize our national security. Classified information is classified for a reason. It's not nothing to play with. Donald its disclosure can potentially endanger lives, compromise ongoing operations, and weaken our position in the ever-evolving global landscape. Yeah, but he gives the secrets up to Vladimir Putin like it's Halloween candy. This is the leader you think should be in the White House, MAGA. Any of you who still believe Donald Trump should be president of the United States, you deserve to go to jail. And if you don't get your soul right, you definitely belong in hell. And I do mean that. I do, nothing gives me more joy than to wake up knowing that a Trump supporter is going to jail or hell. 
all right? Because it's that serious. It really is. And you can't say I'm being mean because this weekend I was reading Cassidy Hutchison's book, ladies and gentlemen. The book called Enough. If you haven't read it, go check it out. Donald Trump in this book was single-handedly sending his own followers to hell. He was. He had, he had contracted COVID and he got out of the hospital. But he still wanted to, you know, look presidential. So he invited people to come into the White House, people who were positive, people who were negative. He invited them into a meeting and he said, I don't care if they have COVID or not. Tell them to come in. They all go in the meeting, right? <clears throat> and then when they're in there and they got their mask, he tells everyone, just take your mask off. Take your mask off. It doesn't matter. I've already been <laughs> I've already been healed, so I'm good. And they all took their mask off and folks got sick. He doesn't care about people. So, no, I don't care about if Donald Trump goes to jail or hell. OK. All right. We must remember that no individual, regardless of their status or position, is above the law. This is especially true for Donald Trump and his legion of MAGA supporters, or as I like to call them, MAGA demons. If these allegations are substantiated, it is essential that a thorough and impartial investigation take place. And I, I, Zeus, Triple H, God, God bless America. I am requesting that the Department of Justice, Merrick Garland, Jack Smith, whoever. All right. I really do hope it's Jack Smith looks into these matters as I firmly believe the truth must be uncovered and those individuals responsible for this wrongdoing need to be held accountable regardless of their past or present stature. Now, we must reflect on the significance of this alleged leak in our relationship with the Australian allies, all right? The United States and Australia, they have shared a long-standing friendship and the cooperation on matters of national security. Any breach of trust between our nations has the potential to strain the relationship and weaken our collective efforts in addressing the global challenges. Global challenges like standing up to China. Global challenges like standing up to North Korea. And last but not least, global cha challenges like standing up to Russia. Yeah, Vladimir Putin, who we all know that Donald Trump reports to. All right. So in closing, I do urge all of you. All right. Especially those who can to approach this matter with a sense of urgency and commitment to the truth. Our nation's security and trust we place in our leaders is truly at stake. We must demand transparency, accountability, and a thorough investigation into these allegations, right? Our democracy is truly on the line. And Donald Trump, ladies and gentlemen, we must do one last thing. Make sure he never, ever gets access to our national secrets anymore, all right? And so on that note, ladies and gentlemen, join me in giving Donald Trump the first round of booze and shame for once again being exposed as a traitor seditionist conspiracy theory maga possessed demon <laughs> get him out of here <laughs> I wish, I wish I didn't have to do this. I, I, I really do. I, I wish my friends and I, we didn't have to day in and day out, get out here on social media and do this kind of work. I wish we could live our lives and really just enjoy the United States of America. But no, no, we don't. We can't do that now because we got a tyrant out there. We got, we got a former president who's terrorizing this country, him and his supporters, and it is now time to address the matter. And we're doing it just like this. All right. Now, let's get into some of today's headlines. All right. Because this is uh, this is definitely something I want to make sure uh, we address. So we all know last week, especially during the show, April brought it up. 
that uh, Donald Trump support his, his his team of lawyers. They're starting to flip, right? And and as they should, all right. And so now we have Donald Trump. Yesterday, he goes up to his social media platform, right? We all know what it is. He should call it. Uh, he calls it Truth Social. It should be called Lies Social, right? I think that would be a lot better, and it actually has a better ring, right? Uh, and he gets on there and denies that Sidney Powell was ever his lawyer, all right? And as you can tell from the from the headline, this definitely sent the internet in a frenzy, right? Now, many of us we know we know what Donald Trump does, right? Uh, we don't know. We don't know what paperwork. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and say this. I might, I might give Donald Trump the benefit of the doubt because uh, when I looked into was Sidney Powell Donald Trump's lawyer or not, right? Uh, I couldn't find any concrete evidence, right? And uh, I even got to one point where they said, "Well, she was never paid by Donald Trump," right? So, okay. I do believe Donald Trump did not pay her, right? I, I firmly believe he didn't pay Rudy Giuliani. But I also believe that for what it's worth, they did do a, a, a lot of work to spread this big lie. So, you know, I said, what is this like? I said, well, she she may not have been paid by Trump, but she sure as heck made it past tryouts right she made it past tryouts. <laughs> she made it past tryouts right she 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 wasn't she just didn't sit on the bench all right she was actively involved so maybe it's a payroll issue that she's complaining about but she had a, a hand in what was going on now trump did distance herself himself from her once once he heard what she had to say right because she said oh she said oh you don't want to pay me trump well i got some I got, I could really sell this if you don't want to pay me. And she went out there and sold a nasty conspiracy way further than what Trump was talking. And when she did that, Donald Trump said, oh no, I don't want to be around her. All right. But she did have ties to his legal team. All right. And so along those lines, uh, I want to make sure we clear the air by addressing uh, whether or not she was really a member of his legal team. And I think there's a clip out here, right, where Rudy Giuliani, Rudy Kaluti, dirty in the booty, Rudy. He spoke on us. Let's see if we can hear it. Thank you very much for coming. Uh, this is um, representative of our legal team. We're representing uh, President Trump, and we're representing the Trump campaign. Oh. Uh, when I finish, um, Sidney Powell, and then and then Jenner Ellis will follow me. Oh. And we will present in brief the evidence that we've collected over the last. I guess it is two weeks. Also, uh, Joseph and Jennifer, Victoria Tenzinger here with me. There are a lot more lawyers working on this, but we're the, I guess we're the, we're the senior lawyers. <laughs> and Boris Epstein. What we are really dealing with here and uncovering more by the day is the massive influence of communist money through Venezuela, Cuba, and likely China in the interference with our elections here in the United States. The Dominion voting systems, the Smartmatic technology software, and the software that goes in other computerized voting systems here as well, not just Dominion, were created in Venezuela at the direction of Hugo Chavez to make sure he never lost an election after one constitutional referendum came out the way he did not want it to come out. All right. All right. So, so, uh, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, uh, Sidney Powell, Rudy Kaluti, dirty in the booty. He was there. All right. And Jenna Ellis was there. And so, you know what? You know what the saying is? If it walks like a duck and it quacks like a duck, well, darn it, it's a duck, right? <laughs> so, you know what? For the sake of the kingdom, uh, Sidney Powell, whether you were paid or not, you were Donald Trump's attorney, all right? You were Donald Trump's lawyer. So, ladies and gentlemen, join me in giving Donald Trump uh, another round of booze and shame 
for denying that Sidney Powell was his lawyer when we got him on national television saying otherwise. <laughs> to our next topic so many of us we are aware that judge tanya chutkin she placed a gag order on donald trump right and and then friday you know because snuggles and i we have a bet right and i said once trump violates that gag order snuggles uh i bet you he'll violate it before the end of the year and if he does uh you're gonna owe me a cheeseburger on top of those three steaks and one of those steaks are is snuggles mom right but I'm going to eat that steak in front of her with my mom, right? So, you know, and so Snuggles sent me a link on Friday, Friday evening. And he says, Zeus, look at this. Judge Tanya Chutkin has stayed the order, all right? And this was in the Associated Press, so it was verified and it was true. She stayed the uh, gag order, which meant she said, all right, I'm going to temporarily relax the gag order, all right? And give Donald Trump's team, as well as Jack Smith, time to explain why I shouldn't, you know, have Trump placed on a gag order, right? And I think the deadline is this Wednesday, right? And so Snuggles was so excited. He was, you should have seen him. He was smiling. Oh, he went on to these lives bragging about how much he was winning. And, and, and this weekend, I even think he did something that he normally doesn't do, right? He he went, all right, <laughs> He went, all right, to McDonald's. He did. He did. And he didn't just get one Big Mac. He got two, right? <laughs> and that's what he did. He, he ate two Big Macs, all right? One for himself, and he bought one for his mother. And I said, wow. And he said, Zeus, you owe me. He came back to me and said, Zeus, you owe me. I said, what do I owe you for? He says, well, look, there's not going to be a gag order. And I said, well, Snuggles, all right? The curtain hasn't closed yet. So I want to make sure Snuggles is listening to this, all right? Because I've been telling him, don't play around with Jack Smith. Don't play around with Judge Tanya Chuck and Snuggles because you're going to lose, all right? You've been losing. Can somebody out there tell Snuggles he's losing, all right? All you got to do is just, you know, at him and throw a few tomatoes, all right? Just let Snuggles know he's losing, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so I want to make sure we, we get this on record. During a segment discussing Trump apparently violating Trump's gag order, all right, uh, by once again attacking uh, deranged Jack Smith. And by the way, he did, right? You can see it right here. Go onto his truth social. Look at what he did. He he called Jack Smith deranged again. While, while the order is being reviewed, he is taking it upon himself to show he doesn't give a darn, right? All right. So she said, Chuckin was being wise to let Trump keep making inflammatory statements, at least for the time being. She is an experienced judge and she is doing exactly the right thing here. She's building a record. If you are thinking of sanctioning a defendant for violating a gag order, make sure whatever you do will be upheld in appeal. You don't want the Court of Appeals to reverse you, right? <laughs> to further emphasize this point, Judge Chutkin is making sure she's giving Trump essentially enough rope to hang himself. Ooh, could you imagine Trump hanging himself? I tell you. All right. All right, and so she goes on to say, Trump, ladies and gentlemen, he went on a rant on Truth Social, Truth Social Sunday night, all right, against not only Jack Smith, but also New York Attorney General Letitia James and President Joe Biden, whom he blames for the fact that he's now been slapped with 91 different felony charges in four different jurisdictions. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> join me once again... <laughs> <laughs> in giving Donald Trump another round of booze and shame because he's he didn't know that the judge is basically allowing him to play himself so that he won't be able to appeal 
the gag order and 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 like the idiot and dangerous man he is he fell for it so let's give donald trump another round of booze and shame thank you zena all right all right um, and I'm going to quickly go over this one right here because we don't got much time, all right? But uh, there's some research out that helps explain why some Republicans see Donald Trump as honest. I'm not even going to dwell too much on this, but I think this is worth mentioning, all right? So this was real research. It involved mathematics, it involved models, and it involved collecting a bunch of statements on Twitter and various social media platforms and analyzing the words that people on the right use and people on the left use, all right? Uh, but you're more than welcome to go, you know, screenshot this and look into it yourself, all right? But I want to make sure we, we, we talk about the difference, all right? Uh, one component can be referred to as fact speaking all right this is a form this form of speech relies on evidence and emphasizes uh veracity and seeks to communicate the actual state of the world and most of us probably consider this an important aspect of honesty all right uh by this criteria though donald trump would not be considered honest all right so most democrats all right and most people who are basically living in reality they like to engage in what we call Fact speaking. All right. So when you come and you run across somebody with a MAGA demon, though, they don't dwell in fact speaking. You know what they dwell in? They re they dwell in what they call belief speaking. Can you believe this? Belief speaking, right? <laughs> I know. Wait. Wait a second. Hold on. Don't boo me. Don't boo me. This is MAGA, though. MAGA doesn't care about facts. They care about belief. All right. Uh, this focuses on the communicators, the communicators apparent sincerity. All right. But pays little attention to the factual accuracy. So when Trump claimed that the crowds at his inauguration were the largest ever, when we all know that they weren't, his followers may not have considered this claim to be honest because, wait, his followers may have considered it to be honest. I'm sorry, because Trump seemed sincere when he was saying it, right? So that's the difference between the way MAGA, those who have that MAGA demon, understand things and the way the rest of us do. Donald Trump to them sounds very sincere and believable when he talks. And that's why these researchers are saying that his, the, the, the MAGA believes Donald Trump. But I got an easier way of saying it, to be quite honest, right? Uh... I appreciate the research that was done, all right? But I'm going to go back to what I've been saying. Uh, MAGA, they have a nasty demon. And the demon, that MAGA demon, when it's in them, it allows them to set aside facts and go with a lie. Because listen up, if you're that gullible, MAGA, if you're that gullible that all somebody has to do is sound believable and you do it, you know what? You do deserve to be in jail. And actually, some of you are, now that I think about it. All 1,400 plus of you. You all deserve to be in jail. And if you don't get your soul right, you definitely deserve to be in hell. So, let's, ladies and gentlemen, join me once again in giving MAGA. Let's give MAGA now. Not Donald Trump, but MAGA, his supporters, a round of booze and shame. Because they're not so bright after all. Right? They just go along with it because it sounds good, even if it's against their best interest. So let's give MAGA a round of booze and shame. I know they don't like me. They don't like me because I tell the truth. All right. Well, guess what? I'd rather tell the truth. And be realer than you than to be out here believing lies and misinformation. Now, I see that there's still some dissension in the comment section. I still see people out here disagreeing with Zeus. How dare you disagree with Zeus? Didn't you catch what I said earlier? Listen to your leader. If you're not happy here, then you can leave. As far as I'm concerned, 
If you hate our country, if you're not happy here, you can leave. If you're not happy in the U.S., if you're complaining all the time, and you know who you very are. simply, you can leave. You can leave right now. You. Come back if you want. You. Don't come back. It's okay, too. You back but there. But if you're not happy, you can leave. Yeah, you back there. Way in the back. Right. You just. I know you pulled that truck over again because you thought you were going to get to me and, and, and get me off. Talked out of my game. They think These Trump supporters, they think they're going to talk me out of my game and stop me from going live and telling the truth. You're not going to talk me out of my game. Yes, you can send me as much hateful messages as you want. You know what I do when you send those? I I laugh. I go, ha, 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 report, ha, 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 report. <laughs> go ahead and do it, all right? Because you know what? Like I've been saying, a sucker's born every day. And you ain't nothing but a new lick. You Trump supporters, you ought to be embarrassed. I mean, nothing makes me chuckle. <clears throat> More than the visuals I get of knowing that these Trump supporters, they wake up every day. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe, believe me, they wake up every day. They turn the camera around and, you know, it shows their 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 ugly face. Right. And you can see it in their face. They got the MAGA demon. And, you know, when you go live on this app, you get a camera, photo, and then it says go live. Right. And these folks, these folks, these Trump deranged people. They actually have the courage to go live and show the world just how ridiculous they look and are. I mean, you all. <laughs> Woo! And, and they take themselves so serious, too, don't they? They get out here on, in, on these TikTok streets and they... They start yelling and they start acting like they know what's going on. When was the last time you went to college? I never went to college, but I know everything. I'm smarter than all of you Democrats combined. I mean, they really believe what they think. It's like my mom always used to tell me growing up, MAGA, everything that comes through your head ain't yours. You got to know when the demon is trying to get you. All right. And you Trump supporters, y'all don't know when the demons trying to pull a lick on you. All right. Look at this. Let's go on to my next topic. All right. I got to get up out of here, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Uh, but this is something. This is a good example. <clears throat> this is this is uh, another example of how the MAGA demon gets folks. All right. Um, uh, I want to make sure I at least address this. January 6th. Uh, rioters, or as I like to say, treasonous folks, they're upset that Sidney Powell and Kenneth Chesbro, they're getting plea deals while their behinds are stuck in jail. And this is what I've been trying to tell them. <laughs> there is a two-tier justice system, MAGA. But unfortunately, you're not in that second tier. You're in the bottom tier where... You will go to jail if you support Donald Trump, all right? Now, Sidney and Sydney Powell and them, the ones who helped uh, organize your behind. Look at these. Look at them. Look at these folks, ladies and gentlemen. What made, this what made this photo jump out to me, right, is the fact that these folks look like sheep. Don't they look like sheep, ladies and gentlemen? They like to get on TikTok and say sheep, 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 as if we don't see them as what they are. These are sheep right here, ladies and gentlemen. Donald Trump, he all he had to do was say a couple of words. What did he say? What did he say to these folks? Let me see if I got it here, ladies and gentlemen. Hold on, hold on. And, and, and when he when Donald Trump talks, uh, his sheep, they do, they do, uh, they do hear him, right? Let me see. Oh, I think I found it right here. Because you'll never take back our country with weakness you have to show strength right that's what it that's what it took for these so-called experts to end up at the united states capitol on january 6th right it just took donald trump's voice all right uh what else did donald trump say ladies and gentlemen and we fight we fight like hell and if you don't fight like hell you're not gonna have a country anymore Mm. We will never give up. We will never concede. It doesn't happen. You don't concede when there's theft involved. Right, right, right. Right. So, 
Let's have trial by combat. Oh. Oh, that sounds like a good idea to a bunch of sheep listening to a huh, listening to their shepherd. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, join me in giving uh, Donald Trump and the January Sixers a round of booze and shame. All right, because they're sheep. They're they're just some bad. I wish I had a sound effect. Bad. They just some sheep, don't they? They just love it when Donald Trump fleeces them. All right, so let's give them their booze and shame. <laughs> And I'm not done with you January 6ers, all right? I got to open up these boxes, but I want to, you know, Ange, you know this is one of my favorite parts of the show. Many of you know one of the most important things that I love to do is to talk about what happened to those folks who attacked our capital on January 6th. Had they simply booked a flight to Russia, they wouldn't be in prison. Had they convicted Donald Trump, we wouldn't be in this situation. Thank you for that. And if and if I didn't see a gift or a subscription, I'm so sorry. But I'm getting into it, all right? I'm so sorry. If these folks would have held Donald Trump accountable, we wouldn't be in this situation, all right? So let's talk about this. Federal court upholds ruling in a January 6th appeal with a potential major impact on hundreds of capital riot cases, all right? In a ruling with major implications for Donald Trump and hundreds of accused rioters charged with storming the United States Capitol, a federal court on Friday again upheld a key finding in the felony conviction of a Virginia police officer who jurors agreed engaged in his own self-described counterinsurgency before obstructing Capitol Police and disrupting congressional proceedings that day. The former police officer, Thomas Robertson of Rocky Mount, Virginia, and the pivotal ruling was delivered by a two-to-one opinion from the U.S. Court of Appeals for the District of Columbia. Columbia. A jury found that Robertson, then 49, guilty on six counts, including five felonies, those included obstruction of an official proceeding, civil disorder, entering and remaining in a restricted building or grounds while carrying a dangerous weapon. All right. Disorderly and disruptive conduct in a restricted building while carrying a dangerous weapon and tampering with a document or proceeding. Robertson was also found guilty of misdemeanor disorderly conduct. It was the language of that obstruction charge on which Robertson, in many January 6th lawyer alike, having hung their hopes for winning an argument on an appeal. So he tried to appeal the ruling, right? This is what he was trying to appeal the ruling on. All right. And, I, and, and this is for you TikTok lawyers. Go get them. Go get those TikTok lawyers especially to those on the right. Go find those TikTok lawyers and tell them to bring their behinds right here. I don't want to hear from them. Just tell them to come on into this live and come in with your real accounts. Don't come in with those dummy accounts and sit your special behinds down and listen to this special broadcast because I got some bad news for you. All right. I got some bad news for you TikTok lawyers who keep defending this guy. Robertson had pointed out that the use of the term corruptly in the statute when he sought to overtone the verdict he argued that he did not storm the capital out of ill intent or malicious maliciousness to target congress and delay proceedings instead he premised his appeal on the notion that he genuinely believed that the 2020 election was stolen and felt he had a right to stalk the halls of the capitals to express himself Right. I wasn't I wasn't being corrupt. I genuinely believed it was stolen. Right. This was just all one big misunderstanding, you guys. Right. Right. My friends on TikTok said this and they're lawyers. This this is what he tried to go to to the appeals court with. But the 80 page opinion from U.S. Circuit Judge Florence Pan with the concurrence of U.S. Circuit Judge Cornelia Pillard highlighted how the former police officers attempt to limit the word corruptly to his preferred single meaning was wholly unconvincing. <laughs> we 
gonna buy that. Them judges ain't buying that. Is that the best defense you got? They ain't buying that one. Uh oh. It finds no support in the statute and is contrary to precedent, they wrote. Oh my God. Uh oh. And just like that. It's all downhill for him, right? <laughs> Robertson declared the intention to join a, quote, counterinsurgency and plan to engage in a, quote, open armed rebellion. The judge noted rolling through Robertson's conduct at the Capitol. Yeah, it was a it was a counterinsurgency and an open arms rebellion. It wasn't a misunderstanding, you clown. Then, off-duty from his work as patrol sergeant for Rocky Mount, Virginia Police, Robertson drove to Washington, D.C. with his friend, a fellow off-duty officer, Jacob Fracker, and they came with gas masks, and Robertson wielded a large wooden stick to push back officers, ordering him to stand down or leave, then overrun the building altogether. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, join me because I can't go any further in this. But as you can tell, this 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 gentleman, he lost the appeal and his behind is now in prison. All right. So join me one last time. All right. In giving MAGA another round of booze and shame, because not only did they break the law and they got caught and convicted, but their defense, which they tried to use in appeal, was just as bad as them breaking the law. So let's give them their daily doses of, wait, 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 wait. Before we give him the booze and shame, I forgot, since he went to prison, uh, we got to send him off the old-fashioned way, right? We got to send him off the old-fashioned way. All right, so let's send uh, Mr. Robertson off the old-fashioned way. Get him out of here, you traitor. For you to even be affiliated with law enforcement and still go to the Capitol and attack law enforcement, you're nothing but a traitor. And I got some bad news for you. You're in jail right now, or, you know, prison. But if you do not get your soul right, you will be in hell. So I suggest you really dig deep within yourself, Mr. Robinson. Mr. Fracker, your friend that was in the passenger seat, and you truly repent and ask God to forgive you because if you don't, like I said, you're going to be in hell and I have no problem sending you there. So ladies and gentlemen, let's give Donald Trump and his supporters another round of booze and shame. That's what they deserve. <laughs> Let's open up these boxes, ladies and gentlemen. I know I'm a little off schedule right now, but I, I do. I'm terribly sorry. But, you know, sometimes you got to just get to the point. All right. And let's open up these boxes and hear from those of you who are brave enough to tell the truth. All right. All right. Uh, it's like my grandmother says, uh, tell the truth and and shame the devil. But in this case, I like to say tell the truth and shame that MAGA demon. All right, so listen up. The only thing I want to hear from MAGA today, this is the morning show. The only thing I want to hear from you is an apology. Are there any Trump supporters out there that want to apologize? Please send a guest request. If you don't want to apologize, then just do us all a favor. Sit your special behind down and listen to this special broadcast. All right, because you have no credibility in this kingdom. And I do, and I do mean that, all right? All right, now let's get this show started, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, Dimples. Nice to see you. Let's get our first guest up here, ladies and gentlemen. All righty, who do we got next? All right, all right. Good morning. Uh, <clears throat> who do we have? Truth is irony. How how are you doing, champ? Man, I'm great, brother. Again, as always, man, you out here doing the thing, brother. You out here uh, spreading the truth, 
keeping right. it real. And, and it real. I, I just want to say this to the MAGA people who are Talk to who are listening. And, and I'm saying this from the bottom of my heart with mm -hmm. as much compassion and sympathy that I can say. Right. And and I, and I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings, but got to be real. No, no, no. The, glo the gloves are off. Uh, truth is iron. Okay. As long as you keep it clean, no profanity. Go okay. ahead and say it. So, the so here's the off. truth. Here's the truth. Y'all stupid. And everybody knows it. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, you, you know, you're supporting a guy who has uh, done un unlimited things that are indefensible. Mm -hmm. And and the reason why I say that that these people are stupid is because right. you have to be stupid to forgive Donald Trump for the things he's done. You have to be stupid mm -hmm. to forgive him for making fun of a disabled or you know a, a handicapped reporter. Right. You got to be stupid to defend him when he uh, said that John McCain wasn't a war hero because he was captured. You do you do you think that they're intentionally or you know because you know I was taught stupid means slow at learning, right? Uh, so do you think they're intentionally being this way, or or do you think uh, they really just don't get it? There's there's a faction that are that is both. Some of them are just mm -hmm. really really slow as far as comprehension. Some of them really are. So mm -hmm. that portion of them, I don't, I don't dislike. I feel sorry for. But then, right. then there are others who are just hateful, and they they support him and defend him because he hates and he uh, bullies the same people that they hate and want to bully. Mm. So, so he he he's, he's someone they can relate to exactly on that level. Exactly, on that level. he is their poster child for what they want. They're afraid that because the because their numbers are dwindling as far as mm. population they're trying to you know because of that they're trying to raise the voting age they're trying to make it harder for people to vote because what they realize is that eventually they're they're going to be voted out of power and mm. they're going to have to be in a position that people of color and unfortunate you know less less uh financially yeah. blessed people have been in for years and years so right so they're really really scared and those people are the mean ones but then there are, there are some who are just really really like on forest gump level of intelligence they're just they just don't have it and right. they can't figure out and and plus they're being fed intravenously almost fox news and fox news doesn't have any desire to be fair and balanced their only nope their only agenda is to promote Republicans, uh, mm. so that so that the whatever you know whatever companies and corporations have a vested interest can support yeah. them, and, and that that's really what it is. That's why they don't want to move away wow. from fossil fuel because they're getting paid by the oil companies. That's right. why there's no there's no gun reform because the NRA is paying for these you know for these congressmen. And yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. Thanks well, for having well, me on, man. Appreciate it. No, 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 no. And as always, you're more than welcome to come back and tell the truth and shame the devil. I really do appreciate it because, you know, a lot of people don't have the courage you have to get up here and say what you just said. Well, all right, I, my good friend. I like to keep it real. But, yeah. but listen, man, you keep doing this work, man. I'm telling you, you are a, a man among men. You are mm. a giant in TikTok, you. in TikTok land, brother. Thank and you. you are doing the Lord's work. Amen. Ladies God and gentlemen, you, let's brother. give God bless truth you. is irony. A round of applause and God bless you too. No lies detected. All right. I still see that there's some dissension out there in the comment section. All right. I see it. I see it. Trump supporters. I don't know why you sitting out here crying and, and being mean like that when you know you don't got to be here. If you're not happy here, then you can leave. As far as I'm concerned, right. if you hate our country. And we know you do. If you're not happy here, you can leave. If you're not happy in the U.S., if you're complaining all the time, very simply, you can leave. You can leave right now. Come back if you want. Don't come back. It's okay, too. But if you're not happy, you can leave. Um, by a show of hands, is there anyone out there uh, 
forcing Donald Trump and MAGA to stay here in the United States by a show of hands? Is there anybody out there forcing Donald Trump and his supporters to stay in the United States? Nope. You see that, MAGA? And I, and I like to ask this question when I go live a lot because I want you to understand that's how much folks in the United States don't want you to be here. All right? No one's forcing you to stay here. Pack your bags. Leave. You need help? My good friend, Nutty Professor, he has a program that's available, right? Any of you Trump supporters that would like a first class trip to Russia, we can help you get there, right? But for you to still be sitting here in the United States of America crying and complaining about President Biden and how he's running this country just shows how much of a traitor you really are. And I, and, and, and I use the word traitor very lightly. It took a while for me to get to the point with MAGA and talk like this, but we're at that point. Donald Trump's out there handing out our national secrets like it's uh, Halloween candy. And enough is enough, right? Good morning, uh, Takesha. How are you doing? Who's there? Are you? I, I'm all right. Just another day in the kingdom. All right. Zusa. Hey, good morning, everybody. Zeus, I've been so took since I heard that when they did that secret vote, that Denver A, the Republicans vote for Jim <laughs> Joy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Zeus, <laughs> he said they held the vote more and more than was going to go against him. They was mm. going to make him look like the fool that he is. Uh. Listen, he got, Talk to him. He, he got the number of strands on his head that people that supported him. And them 80 probably really wanted to say no, but they didn't know the other ones was going to be honest. Nobody wanted Jim Shorts Jordan. I tell you, this, you know, him and Lincoln Cheeks, they oh just, my God. him and Lincoln Cheeks, they get more ridiculous as the days go on, man. Don't they? But don't you know, they? But they better check Trump for dementia. Oh. Saying he don't you... know sitting in the power, and they said he was letting her in them meetings when the folks was telling that she didn't have no clearance to get in the White House, and mm. he was letting her in the meeting because, you know, she was saying everything she wanted him to say was putting them little notes up under them two pages he was putting on, and he was, hey. you know, he was out here trying to, you know, say what she said and stuff, and it's just embarrassing. It, it is. I am so disgusted with what's going on. Listen. Tell them. Listen, Tell them to Keisha. I'm glad Chuck and didn't give him a gag order. Oh. Sometimes you have to let the hangman hang itself. <laughs> <laughs> Tell Listen, him. It's Tell gonna them. be so much evidence against Leaky Cheeks when he go to court that the trial gonna be so fast he don't even know he was in there with that suit on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling ah, you. You said it, you said she's letting the evidence just pile up. Listen, he the hang him. in. He hanging his Uh oh, you're muted, uh, Takesha. Hello? Yes, are you back? Muted, uh, Takesha. Oh, you got an echo. You wanna drop and come back up? Go ahead and drop and come on back up, Takesha. I think you may have gotten a phone call. All right. All right. Yeah, see, that's what happens when the truth starts floating out here. Folks get busy. But you know what? I hope she comes on back because the truth needs to be shared out here. And to you Trump supporters that are in your feelings and, you're, and you see them in the comment section, I'm out of here, Zeus. Goodbye. Goodbye. Continue to remain ignorant. All right. This is for those who want to be free. You know, they want their minds to be freed up. This is for them, not you. You know, all right, Takesha, you're back. You know what, Zeus? You got to tell the truth and shame the devil. And Amen. He just tried to come and interrupt my my spiel, but you know what, Zeus? You got to resist him and uh, he didn't flee. Uh, and that's why I sent that person to the voicemail. Amen. I resisted that call so mm -hmm. they could flee because you and I were having a conversation about Leaky Amen. Chief. Amen. Now, anyway, back to Leaky Chief. Leaky Talk Chief just him. keep on hanging himself, but he don't know he's hanging himself, but that's what narcissists do. 
Uh-huh. They think they can do what they want to do because you know he's been doing stuff all his life like he wanted to. And right. so he really thinks that he's still helping himself doing what he want to do. But listen, he going to be mm. just like clothes on one of the mega clothes line behind that trailer with that one wheel on it and them and them cheeks up to the wonders eating them van camp beans out of them plastic cups. They oh, of the nasty. They Listen, they eating the van camp. They eat it out of the plastic cup because they can't get no bowls because they done gave all their money to Trump. And we keep telling them to stop doing that. Listen, they know that Jesus Christ on one wheel and mm-hmm. they got them sheets up to that curtain and it's right. that central heat in there. They got that little fan blowing through the window and they think right. they really, really surviving. So they still yeah. vote Republican. Uh. Got a dime. Tell them to keep Let even, them know. Can't even make the children no fruit bag with the walnut and the peanuts and the peppermint in it. We used to get in the brown paper bag. Amen. Money to Donald Trump. And every time Amen. we see him on the plane, they're all like, Bill Gates Trump on his plane. Uh, and they ride the wheelbarrow to work. Yeah. Well, yeah. The wife, the they let Trump live better push, than them. The wife pushing them to work in the wheelbarrow so she can take it back home and then push the children to school and pick them up and they think they they think they got a truck. They call it they call it a station wagon. Oh, a wheelbarrow station wagon. Oh, that ain't a st- cra- look. They ain't got good sense, Zeus. I'm trying to tell you. Bless they little hearts. You right. You're right, but we helping them get some good sense, ain't we? They not paying no attention, Zeus. Well, they, they, I, well, they won't have any excuses for why they in hell then. How about after, that? After, you know, when Trump goes and I put my Trump tears on sale, I'm going to give a free dunce cap. Oh. Pay attention. It's free. It's oh. only $9.99, but it's free. You hear that math? So do cost, the math. The cost is going to be added into the Trump tiers. You know, the Trump tiers are $19.99, but okay. with five installments of $15.99, you can get it for $19.99. <laughs> and I'm gonna add, and I'm gonna add a free dunce cap. Mm. It's really nine dollars, but you know, we'll tell them it's free. Hey, and, Amen. Uh, in the fine print it's gonna say the charge is nine ninety nine because you know they can't read. <laughs> So they can't down in the fine prints. We're gonna they take can't. all their money because bless their hearts. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Well, listen up. I thank you so much, uh, Sister Takesha. All right. And if you do start selling those, go ahead and uh <laughs> let me know because I would love to help you promote it to Mag. All right. I got plenty of them already, Zeus, because okay. He's he he you know, tears on his pillow, pain in his heart. He's crying off the cameras, and I'm catching every tear he cries. Oh, oh, well, listen, so got, that's one. Thing. I've got a garage full of Trump tears already. Oh, yeah, I love it. Well, listen, let's go into business and get those, get that out there so the market can, uh, you know, be happy. All right. Because yeah, we we'll got to make sure we make our money. All right. All right. Well, please. All right. Stay safe out there in these you TikTok see y'all streets. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up to the beautiful Sister Dakey. <laughs> no lies detected. Oh my gosh, no lies detected. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, We are bringing the truth like it's never been brought before. And I'm so happy to have a group of folks like you who are willing to come in the box and just keep day in and day out giving it to MAGA, all right? Because there's that person out there in the middle of the aisle that's confused about a lot of these topics. And when they hear these lives, they do reach out to me and say, thank you, Zeus. So let's keep it going. Uh, good morning, Attacking. How are you? Good morning, Zeus. Hey, I like to uh, give an example of what evidence is. Oh, oh. You're, you're doing a in. live broadcast right now, correct? Correct. If I was to record you and I said that you lied about something, and I said, hey, Zeus, you're lying, and then you say, well, no, I didn't lie about this, and then I played the recording back to show that you lied, would that be evidence? That would be evidence. Okay. So the thing is this, with Donald Mm. Trump, you have evidence of Sidney Powell saying that Trump wanted to make her special counsel. I remember. She was under oath. Right. To the January 6th committee. Right. Right. You have Rudy Giuliani saying this is his legal team. You just played it. That would be evidence. Evidence. And what does yes. and what does Trump do? Like when he uh, when when people come out and say things, 
I don't know he, that person. Of course. Just of like course. he did. So they, the Trump lovers, believe what Trump says, even though he has also said that he's worked with Rudy Giuliani and so on and so forth. Court cases have been presented by these lawyers who now have Talk lost some of their law licenses. And so they only believe what Trump says when he says, I have no idea who this person is. Then pictures and audio comes up of them talking together. Mm. Kind of like when I call out some of these people who do fake videos saying that they have this as a proof. And then I show the real video like toilet paper guy, your buddy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And show that he used a manipulated video purposely to p promote a lie on his own platform. Wait, Snuggles did that? Oh, several times. Oh. Right. And Snuggles. see, the thing is this. Stop it. When, if they were to call you a liar or me a liar, but yet mm -hmm. they never produce any video or audio. Right. That's just promoting their lies more because they have nothing upon you, me, or anybody else. They don't. Right. They all they always call us liars. So right they now. also, like with toilet paper guy and some other Republicans who love Trump, all hmm. of a sudden say that Sidney Powell and, and Cheeseboro took plea deals because uh Fannie Willis, Fannie Willis did not have evidence. Right. This is what they they said that? They said they said that. <laughs> yeah, because the evidence, there's no evidence there, so they plea dealed out. So Jesus I'm sorry, Christ. at one time, these two people were really smart, good lawyers. So they know that they took a plea deal because there was evidence, there were text messages, and their own words and actions have shown that they've done something guilty. And with Sidney Powell now, with the, with the uh, sworn testimony, yeah, Trump tried to make me, was gonna consider making me a uh, oh. counsel, Trump knows that they have evidence against him in regards to what was going on. He does. So you Trump lovers, quit Give playing me. down the fact that there is evidence against Donald Trump in regards to Georgia and every other court situation going on. And by the way, my, yes. Michael Cohen is going to court today in New York City against Trump. Oh! <laughs> More, More truth. truth is coming out. Yep, I'll yeah. drop. Uh, let everybody else up. Everybody have a good day, and I'll be listening. All right, all right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up to uh, Brother Attack. <laughs> no lies detected. You see how we're keeping the truth level, ladies and gentlemen? It's 110% truth in here. All right. So I don't want anybody sending me a request that's going to get in here and lie. You know, I had a conversation with, uh, what's her name? Stacy, right? How many of you, you know, Stacy and Janae? These two right now, you know, we know Janae, uh, she has jungle fever, right? Janae got jungle fever. She has a, she has a nasty crush on Zeus, all right? Uh, but then Stacy, uh, Stacy wants to debate me. And, and I said, well, Stacy, I don't want to debate you because I know you won't believe anything that I say. So, Anyone sees Stacy, just let Stacy know that Zeus is willing to answer her questions, but it's $20, $20 a question, Stacy. All right. And I do believe if you pay me to answer the questions, you might believe me because, you know, people tend to do that when they actually start paying for something, they actually start to pay attention. All right. So Stacy is $20 a question. And Janae, uh, it's okay that you got a uh, jungle fever, but guess what? You're going to have to lay there and burn, honey, because... Ain't nothing going on between us, all right? I'm just gonna get to the lady and burn. All right, all right. Oh my gosh, we got some more people up in here. All right, all right. Okay, we got uh, Dark CC. Good morning, Dark CC. How are you? Mm, how am I looking out there? Am I looking real nice? How am I? How am I looking from the perpendicular side? All right. I mean, I'm just making sure because I know Dark Nutty's out there and Dark Nutty can't stand it. You're hot. Like shining. You're hot, baby. You're Thank hot. You. Thank you. You so sizzle. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Tell him. Tell him, Dark CC. Listen, babe. Yeah. I might need more than three minutes. You got to start bringing me up first because I get stuff on my mind. 
Mm. And then other people start bringing stuff up, and it goes, well, there goes my idea. So, mm. you know, well, I, well, I, you know, I, I don't want to have to file divorce papers, okay? Okay, okay. I, I mean, I get you. I get you. We'll do our best, all right? Okay. We'll honey. do our best, all right? But, you know, there's a lot of... A lot going on in the kingdom. I know it is, baby, but I should come first, period. Oh, oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I mean, you know Nutty doesn't like it when you talk like that, all right? Because it makes him feel real small. He's a, he, Nutty, he's honey, you'll be okay. You can come after okay. me. <laughs> okay, yeah, that Nutty. <laughs> but this is, I got a few things, and like I said, I might need a little extra. I'll try to be quick at this. Okay, um, okay, the clock is a ticking. Okay, the clock you want to turn it off. Anyway, well, <laughs> anyway, let's go, Cece. Let's go. So, I was in a live with a mutual of ours, and we love him dearly, and he hmm. loves Tupac. You know who we're talking okay. about? No. And huh? Who? Our little, our little Trumper. Snuggles. No, Greg. Oh, z -Pac. Okay, I know z -Pac. yes. Yes, My bad. so. Yes, he loves some Tupac. Let me tell you something, honey. He was in a live, and, I, you know, we stressed to him all the time not to go into these crazy lives, right? Mm -hmm. But Greg likes to do it, and so he was in there with the mega rats. I mean, you cannot mm. be any, any lower. And he brought mm. up the fact about Donald Trump and veterans. Mm -hmm. He brought up the fact about, and I know you've heard about it. Straight facts. Straight yes. facts. That Donald, uh, General Milley invited a three-time Vietnam vet. Right. Okay, remember him? Who was in his wheelchair, and he even got stuck in yeah. the mud? Yeah. Vila, I think his last name was. Yes, yes. The rats are saying it never happened. And so I was trying to help, yeah. They said it never happened. It never happened. That wow. rat, that mm. rat, M-O-D, you're a rat, you're a rat. You're getting, this is kind words, what I have to say to you. But anyway. I've never heard you talk like that. I, uh... I am disgusted to say that this never happened and that she couldn't find it anywhere, anywhere on the internet. Wow. And, and let me tell you, uh-uh, uh-uh. Dark CC, uh -uh. dark CC. Uh-uh, uh-uh, yeah. uh-uh. So the very first try that I went on to give Greg the name of that man, I found it. So mm. they're in such denial, it's unbelievable. Snuggle, you're in everybody's life with nothing to bring. All mm. you bring is mm-hmm, uh-huh, okay, uh-huh, uh. Snuggle, go to bed. Go to bed. Um, also, <clears throat> I want to say that we also have another mutual friend. I'm trying to talk fast. We have another mutual friend who has been treated like dirt by men and you know who we're talking about. So this individual called her a heifer. He called oh, her a heifer. I think I know this one. I think I know exactly yes. what you're Yes, and talking so about. In, re in return, in the messages, mm. I said to this rat, you better take a look in the mirror because you're a heifer. Guess what he did? Guess what the coward... What is... What? Wow. Yeah. Guess what the coward did? He reported me. Because, yeah, I said the same thing to him that wow. he said to our mutual friend. Wow. This is drama, Cece. Uh, this is some nasty drama. They're terrible. They're terrible. It's awful. And guess what? There's more? Yeah, one more thing. Oh my God, this happened this weekend? This happened mostly, yeah, yeah, mostly yesterday. Jesus Christ! But guess Don't, what? Are, are, are these the Christians we're talking about? Oh, of course they are. 
But guess yeah, what? Too. Guess who I got to be quiet when I talk to him? Who? Who likes to talk, use his hands, eye, his sunglasses, and his greasy head? Uh, HVAC. I got him to keep his mouth shut while I spoke. <laughs> well, that's some good news. How about Dark that? Cece. That's good news, and that does deserve a round of applause. Wow. You really are out here doing the work. I can tell. Yeah, right. I, 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 I'm, I'm, I just Jesus sit Christ. back. I sit back oh. and I watch. Oh, my God. And I'm, well, listen. And I'm definitely watching you. You know All that. All right, listen. All <laughs> right, well, listen. Snuggles is going to be very upset with you, but I'm confident uh, you won't have any problems with him because I have your back, all right? Honey, I'm not worried about Snuggles. He is... We're not. He, he's is he winning? Is he winning? Heck no. No. Okay, you hear that, Snuggles? You're Can winning. I say one bad word? Absolutely not. We keep it clean over here. Even if, it, even if you've said it before? What is it? Hell. Oh, okay. Hell's fine. All right, yeah. What did you say? What do you want to say by saying hell? Snuggle. Oh, you wanted to say what? What do you? What do you it's, want to? Say? It's what pure do you hell. Want to, Snuggle. Oh. It's pure hell in your lives. Give Thank it up. Thank you. Give, Give it, it up. up, Snuggles. Give it up. Well, listen, Dark oh, Cece, oh, I gotta oh, bring wait, up another wait, panelist. All wait right? a minute. Wait a minute. I got one more. See what okay. I mean? Listen, Janae, if you're listening. Uh oh. Uh oh. I see you have another profile, Janae. Oh. And Janae, your picture's on it. Oh, 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 oh. And Janae, I have your picture. Oh, no! <laughs> but you know what? But I'm done! What? But guess what? Dark CC. But no, listen, Dark CC. Dark CC. I listen, can't Listen, babe. I had her I picture before. Take... I already had her picture, okay? So I didn't okay. need that new profile, but I got okay. her new profile. Okay. 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 I took up two people's lives. I'm sorry. Love you. Bye. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up to Dark CC. <laughs> All right. Oh, my God. You swerving all over the map today, this morning, Dark Cece. I had never seen you so dark in my life. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. All right. Let's keep it going. Oh, my God. Ah, Dark Cece. That was something else. All right. All right. Let's get it in. Good morning, brother swerving. How are you doing, my good friend? Zeus, I'm staying on my toes. Because all right, all my honey nut Cheerios. Boom! Okay. I love it. I love it. But That's what I like I, to I, hear. I might, I might need four minutes. I'm gonna try to keep it to okay. three, but I might need four. So okay. I, I want to take you back in time when Fawny announced the RICO charges against uh -huh. all eighteen of these fools. Right. 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 If you recall, I made a prediction, and that prediction has come true. I said, you watch somebody, they're going to start flipping like a trained dolphin at SeaWorld. <laughs> Remember me saying that? Yes. Yes. And, and, and I actually what? added the sound effect to my uh, soundboard because of that. And it and it's happened. Yeah. You got you got Sydney Powell, who never released a Kraken. She, <laughs> Zeus, she couldn't even release a cockroach. Okay. Oh, oh my God. Then you got Cheeseburger. Mm-hmm. Mm. He flipped, and then mm. a third person has flipped, and I can't remember his name. Oh, the third person is in it. Uh, oh, I forgot his name. What was the third guy's name? I, uh, I can't remember the third person's name, but I told you they would all start uh, flipping like trained dolphins at SeaWorld, right? Yeah. And here we are watching yeah. them flip like Scott, trained dolphins. Scott Hall. Scott Hall, I think. Scott, yeah, Hall. Scott Hall. Okay. Yeah. Scott Hall, Kenneth Chesbro, and Sydney Powell. Well, those are the what, three that What's killing me is you got the Trump supporters out there mm. sitting there going, well, if she was convicted, why isn't she in jail? Because that was oh. the sentence that the judge passed down. <laughs> can you say that again? Can you say that again? Because Snuggles didn't hear you. He was typing something. Say that just, again because, just because you're convicted, it wasn't the sentence the judge passed down. If, mm. I, was, if I was a first-time offender... I'd be in the first time offender program and I would be taking 
I would be convicted for pleading guilty, mm -hmm. but my sentence could be just house arrest. Thank you. See, it don't it don't matter you play it guilty. Don't matter you convicted. What matters is the sentence to them. That's all they Thank care you. about. You hear They'll that? There and go. Well, they're not in jail, so I'm still winning. But they got convicted, and you know why? Thank they you. Got convicted because they sat there and they lied for Donald mm. Trump. Sydney did Powell. you watch him? Did you watch? Uh, I don't want to cut you off, but did you watch the video of Kenneth Chesbro, you know, uh, pleading guilty? And they actually asked him, so you agree you lied? Yes. Yeah. And they, they, asked, they did the same thing to uh, Powell and Hall. Yeah. And, yeah. And they said, yeah, yeah, we yeah. lied. I mean, you, you, you didn't really even need to have a whole lot of common sense to know Sidney Powell lied when she's talking about uh, Hugo Chavez. <laughs> At the time she made that statement, Hugo Chavez had been dead for seven years. Yeah. So I don't yeah. know how he had any kind of influence on the 2020 election. Right. But they flipping, they flipping now. They have, uh, you know, Donald Trump tried to say that she was never his attorney, but, you know, Rudy Kaluti. Uh, dirty in the booty. Dirty in the booty. He says something totally different. <laughs> like to welcome a new member to the legal team. and I heard it. You know, and uh, when he made that Jason statement, is. she that's when she came out and she gave her her opening statement and said, Hugo Chavez influenced the election. I'm like, right. isn't, isn't he dead now? Like, he, 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 he's been dead for over seven years. Right. So the crap that they believe is just beyond belief. How do you, yeah. that's like saying RFK or uh, JFK Jr. had some influence on the election. <laughs> Anything well, goes. If you say it with belief, if you say it and you sound believable, uh, Swervin, these Trump supporters, they will believe you. Isn't that something? But it doesn't even it doesn't even sound believable. They're talking about dead people. <laughs> JFK Jr. is really going to come back. One of them, JFK Jr., one of the most stunning <laughs> have ever seen. Right. All kinds of philanthropic work <clears throat> for homeless people, uh, children's charities. They really believed that this man was going to come back from the grave and run as Donald Trump's running mate in 2024. <laughs> they believe that. In fact, they believed it Ooh. so much that they they uh, found themselves at uh, what was it Daily Plaza, where right. his father was assassinated. Wow! They were all down there with their cameras and just waiting on JFK to return. This and, is the nonsense we're talking. And about. guess what never happened? What's that? JFK never returned. Uh, Neither uh, did JFK Jr. Uh, These people are so lost in the sauce right now, it's not even funny. <laughs> they are lost in the sauce. Lost in the sauce. They are they are drowning in the Kool-Aid. They are. Not even realizing that Donald Trump charges them for the Kool-Aid and they still drink. Bingo. Mm. Mm, this is the best Kool-Aid I've ever had. That's yeah. what they tell us, right? Mmm, cherry. I love cherry. <laughs> Oh, you know. Oh, I, it, it, oh, it, I love it. It got a little extra kick in it when you drink it like this, right out of this nice glass. Yeah, right out of this, right out of this tub of cyanide. This is wonderful. <laughs> yeah, but they, it, it just amazes me what they believe, what they have no clue about, what they won't go and research because if they go and research something, it's going to make them look bad or make mm -hmm. Donald Trump be wrong. And God forbid, Donald Trump is found to be wrong. But mm. I find it even more amazing that he's Donald Trump is the only one telling the truth as far as they're concerned, and everybody else is lying. <laughs> Tell him, Swerve. And so Tell now him. Donald Trump is the only one telling the truth, but he still has 91 pending felony charges against him. Mm -mm. Yeah. But he's the only sense. one telling the truth. That is that is pure cult mentality. Mm. Some of the you people. Hear that? Some of the people who survived the Waco, Texas incident with David Koresh, I remember they that. they admitted on camera. He David Koresh was the only one that was going to tell us the truth. That's mm. pure cult behavior. Mm. Pure cult behavior, and they are exactly they are in a cult. They don't realize it, and they need to be just like Hillary Clinton said. They need to be deprogrammed. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, delete your hard drive, all right, and then reformat it with some new code, all right? Exactly, exactly. brother Swervin. Exactly. So let me get out of here. I heard my bell. I told you I might need four minutes. I just want that's to, fair. I just wanted to rem remind everybody. I said months ago, 
they gonna start flipping on Trump like dolf, trained dolphins at SeaWorld. And now, and, and there's more, and there's more that are going to flip. Do you think, right? I believe. I think Jenna Ellis will be next. <laughs> yeah. I think yep. Jenna Ellis will be the next one to flip because yep. she hasn't lost her law license yet. And if she flips and <laughs> testifies, she might get to keep her law license. Everybody else, mm. Rudy Kaludi or Uzi Guliani, he's lost right. his law license. Sidney Powell has lost hers. They've been disbarred. And I'm sorry, mm. I'm not going to spend, I don't even know how long a lawyer goes to college for. Eight? But you, <laughs> sorry, oh, right. sorry. If, yeah. if a lawyer goes to college, let's just say six years. Yeah. Right. That's a lot of money. That's a high quality education to become an attorney of any kind. And now you're going to lose it all because of Donald Trump. No, I don't. I don't think I don't think they really thought this game plan through. They didn't. But they like didn't. I always say, Republicans and conservatives can't ever see five minutes in front of their face. Nope. So they can't. Let me get out of here. I'm going to finish my cup of MAGA tears that I bought from uh, that I bought from Takesha. And uh, she didn't get me though. I read the fine print. I knew what I was getting into. So thank you. You did the right thing. You did the right thing. And Absolutely. drink up. Cheers, my brother. All right. Absolutely. So everyone in the kingdom, you all enjoy the rest of your day. Have a great day. Make it a good Monday. Go out and do something kind for someone without expecting anything in return. And just right. be a good person. Have fun and be safe while you're doing it. Zeus, you get back to managing the affairs of the kingdom. And I will and shall. Listening, brother, you take care and be safe, all right? All right, all right. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give Brother Swervin a round of applause. <laughs> yeah, you know, these Trump supporters, they, they, they know this broadcast is helping them be better people at the end of the day. Don't you buy it. Don't believe it for one second that these, these same folks that are in here crying and complaining, they are not sitting back on the back end meditating on this truth this content we're bringing and they know that we're right when we say they are on their way to hell if they don't get it together and they're listening they're listening even though they don't want to admit it they're listening because they know the jig is up all right ladies and gentlemen let's bring up the beautiful shay Welcome, hey, hey. how are you doing how are you? I see you, Nutty. I see you, Nutty. Yes, let's go. Uh, I'm I'm doing all right. Just another day in the kingdom. It's it's keep it clean Monday. Yeah. Uh, so I caught you in that live, young man, um, with uh, uh, Janae and uh, Stacy. Oh, uh -oh. all upset in HVAC's live that you keep talking about them. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, they did uh, yeah. say that. Huh? Yeah, yeah. That was really funny. I had so much I wanted to say, but HVAC is not the brightest host on the planet. Oh yeah. Nothing. Well, he 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 does a good job hosting though, I guess, because you know Snuggles kicks you out of his live, right? This well, guy, that's H true. Uh, I, I got to give it to HVAC. You know, he doesn't kick Zeus out of the live, and he doesn't let his mods get on me. So that is true. Know. That is true. I will give him that. He does try to to you know. Yes, I'm dark Zeus. A lot of that. So I thought yeah. it was really good. Um. So yeah, but here's the thing is. You can't sit here and tell people not to talk about you when you continually come into their lives. Yes. Janae. And Janae's always in here. And then when you get up in the box and you can't back up any of your beliefs or points and to a point that you sacrifice the savior mm. to try to make a point and drop him like a, a hot potato because Ooh. you know you've been cornered, mm. right? Yes. That is the most ridiculous stuff I've ever heard. You're the mm. one that gets up in the box and makes a fool of yourself. So then all of us are going to come up and laugh our asses off. That's how that works. Bingo. I'm sorry. You're the one that chooses to come in and embarrass yourself every dang time, whether you're up in the box <laughs> or whether you're in the comments. Right. And you give us the fodder. So if you, yes. if you don't like what you hear or see, you can leave, right? <laughs> You're okay. right. Listen so, to your leader. The victimization from these people is hysterical to me. Mm, mm. And the He's fact that it. you think that y'all don't talk about us. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> For a fact, you talk about so many of us. Oh, oh. My goodness. Oh. So you, you have doxxed people, brought people's children up in the background, oh. and yeah. Oh. 
Y'all are some pretty oh. nasty people. So I find it really, really funny that you are so upset at Zeus for even talking about you. Oh my God. That's as that's wow. it is. It's just so petty and lame. Mm. It, don't be on this app if you can't handle the heat that you try to throw out. Like it, yeah. it's not, it just doesn't make any sense. And mm. sit there and tell people, you know, there are people at lives I don't like. I just don't go in them. I mean, you don't like Zeus's live. You don't like what he says about MAGA people. Then don't listen to it. It's really <laughs> just, no it, lies detected. They just no. think, oh, I just I hate what you say and what you do. And da, 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 da. It just doesn't yeah. make any sense. Also, have you noticed the fake outrage on X? It's pretty oh. hilarious. You know, Joe what? Biden was walking with his beautiful wife, Jill, of 45 years on the beach in Delaware. God, God bless Joe Biden. They yeah. were walking on the beach. And I don't yeah. know how many MAGA heads are sitting there going, we're about to start World War Three, and look at our president walking on the beach. I'm like, what? <laughs> They they always like to portray themselves as victims, right? If 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 being a victim was an Olympic sport, MAGA would get the gold medal every time, wouldn't they? Oh my God! And it's just ridiculous. And so, like, a message went back going, "What do you want me to do? Hide in the bunker like Trump did? Like, I mean, what do you, what right. do you expect the president to do? He yeah. can't walk on the beach, but yet right. Trump can play golf four hundred days out of his four year short presidency." Make it that make part. sense. The fake outrage is because they know they're losing. So all they want to do is pick out something ridiculous, like our president of the United States walking on the beach on a weekend when he has some time off. Like he's not right. allowed to do that. Mm -hmm. Spend time with his wife. Where's Melania? Oh, oh, oh. Where's Melania? You see this oh. man walking by his wife, uh, hand in hand with his wife on the beach, as a good husband should do. It's but time with his uh, with his wife. Uh, by the way, Anne went to church. Anne went to mass. That the, it, it, what? Like where? Where? Where's what? Melania? Like yeah, where's Melania? At? Doozy oh, and Doozy, where's Melania? At Snuggles, where is she? Yeah, where? Where is Melania? I haven't seen her. Oh, and the last thing I'll, that you know that they've got the tapes now, right? From the the Australian billionaire, right? Correct. Correct. Right. And in there, he he describes how he would. He would brag and and in front and say in front of his own wife, "I have Melania. Why don't you get on a bikini and walk around Mar a Lago so I can show you can show everybody what I have." Wow, mm -hmm. Trump said that about his own wife. He did. He said that about his own wife in front of her, and and that's the disgusting human being that he is. Can you exactly. even imagine, MAGA ladies, your husband in the middle of having dinner says, honey, why don't you put on a bikini and strut around to show them your body so that imagine doing other that. men can oogle at you. You want to explain that to me? Oh, yeah. It's a yeah, doozy. Doozy, please defend that since you, yeah. you think Donald Trump is cute. It's disgusting. Please explain. It's yeah. disgusting. But, you know, she's the dumbass that married him. But period. End of story on that one. She deserves yeah. what she gets. But at the yeah. end of the day, it shows you what a disgusting human being he is. But yet, I you know, agree. Mm. And yes, Michael Cohen tomorrow. I think it's tomorrow. Mm. Yep, is going to be. Oh, attacking okay. said today it's tomorrow. Uh, okay, I thought I. He said on X, Michael Cohen said Tuesday. So okay, it may have moved. So mm. okay, usually knows the stuff. So it could be okay. It is all today. Right, well, okay, we got a few people saying today. All right, all right, all, all right. right. Okay. Yeah, very cool. Oh, no, attacking said he was wrong. So you're right. All right. You oh, see how we okay. do this here, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. We don't, we don't just, we don't just okay. put stuff out here. We try to get it right. <laughs> unlike other platforms. It is Tuesday. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. All right. I love it. This is what we do. We fact check. Oh, by the way, Janae thought that was so funny that you corrected me on the six felonies versus the six misdemeanors. She was laughing about all that in the comments. I'm like, yeah, I can be corrected. It's called right. listen and learn. It's not that big of a deal. If I got it wrong, I got it wrong. I don't care. Right. But that's what right. there for. That's what we're all there for to say, hey, actually, this is actually the truth. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah. They thought, exactly. Oh, that's so funny. We got Shay. Her, her, her. I'm yeah. like, okay. <laughs> you got there, Shay there being was... fact checked and Shay going, oh, okay. Got it wrong. Sorry about right. that. Right. We okay. want people to know what's going on. That's what this is about, Janae. Exactly. We get things wrong. Hey. But yeah. We're, we're human. To, we're willing to listen. And listen to the facts and get corrected. Yeah, that's all that Jesus works. Christ. And admit Jeez. we're wrong. Oh my God. Shocking. Yeah. <laughs> Tell them, Shay. Tell them, Shay. 
<laughs> All right, my so. friend, I'll let you go. All right. All right. All right, All right love ladies you guys. and gentlemen. Have a wonderful day. All right. All Happy right. Monday. Yay. Happy <laughs> Monday. Our ladies and gentlemen, the beautiful Bye. show. <laughs> no lies detective. Once again, you see, it's not that hard to get in the box and tell the truth. It's like my grandmother says, right? Tell the truth. And what? Shame the devil. Hey, good morning, uh, Nutty. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> My best Eddie Murphy laugh. <laughs> First of all, I have, yeah. I, have a I, I have a message for you, sir. Oh, okay. From one of our mutuals, Unbraised oh. Son. You know who oh. she is, right? Unbraised, Unbraised Son. Yeah, I do know who she is. She told me to tell you that I am the most handsome, not you. So, that, and secondly, secondly, you know what? You were correct. Nutty, you were uh, you were correct. Uh, when you let Cece in the box, so when Cece goes dark, you know there's a problem because she, she's she's just not that way. But we do know that she needs bifocals, thinking you're so handsome. She needs bifocals, trifocals, quadruple focals. She knows it. But hey, hey, so wow, guess what? Wow. So, I mean, so, I mean, the fact that you can get up here and say those things with a straight face, Nutty, is quite impressive. I mean, hey, you know what? Like Tell the truth, shame of the devil. I'm shaming the devil right now. So, so <laughs> over the weekend, I got a um, I got a request from another uh -oh. account, uh, and it was called Jungle Fever. Was that today? <laughs> What? There's a jungle. There's a jungle fever account out here. Yeah, there's a jungle fever account with a black hand interlocked with a white hand. <laughs> <laughs> listen, wow. listen I'm, I'm down with it because you know what? Love who you love. That's all great. You know, I I'm all for love. How about that? But when I saw that, I just thought of Janae. Janae, you know, it's all good. Boo -boo. It's probably her. It's, it's probably all good. her. It's all wow. good. So wow. You know, so you said something earlier that, you know, the, the mag, as CC said, the magarets. Um, mm. If there is no evidence, there is no need for a plea bargain. Right. I'm like, are we losing? Are we losing sight of that? No, not us. Because nobody in their right mind is going to plea to a crime if there is no evidence you hear that like come y'all 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 making my brain hurt tell like, them like can so, we... so 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 what do you think that was all about uh nutty what do you I think? think i think it's another one of their gaslighting tactics that mm. you know they're 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 trying to they're they're speaking to one group of people Mm. And that's the other Magda demons to keep, them, to keep them on board, inhaling the essence of the Kool-Aid. Mm. So that's why they keep saying it. It's not that they believe it. It's to keep right. their support intact. Mm. That's what Snuggles is doing. That's right. what MOD is doing. It's, oh. to keep, it's to keep it intact because they're winning. They're out there what? winning. You know what are they winning? What are they? Winning? They're they're winning a first class ticket to prison. Hey, they're, you're right, Snuggles. You are winning. You are Snuggles. And in fact, Snuggles, I have a message for you. We already know that this is the truth. We already know that you're Thank not you. going to pay Zeus his stakes. We already know this. Okay. No one. No, no one is stakes. fooled. No one is fooled by this. So guess what, Snuggles? I will. I will help you, sir. I will oh. pay for two of those stakes for you. I will give you, the other day, the other day I said I would give him one steak dinner. I will give him two of the steak dinners. You already owe him, right? Mm. We know yeah. that you're never intending on paying because that's what MAGA demons do. You're just oh. like your leader. You want to get out there and you want the services, but you don't want to pay for the services. That's why nobody is surprised Nobody is surprised that uh, the Kraken lady never got paid. Nobody's right. surprised by that. Right. It's because it's apropos. That's his MO, not to pay. Mm. So. Mm. Tell him. So, so 
And, and furthermore, you, you know, you want to you you want to you want to get on Joe Biden for walking on the beach with his wife. How Tell many him. times did uh, Donald Trump go golfing in his presidency? How many times? How many times has Biden? I don't know of one time Biden has gone golfing. Hmm. I've seen I've seen him ride a bike. Hey, uh, that's a lot of exercise. The only exercise I've ever seen Donald Trump do is have his hey. fat butt in Air Force One eating KFC and and McDonald's all the same time. Drinking the cokes, right? Someone Drinking give me coke. some cokes. Yeah. And you know so, Don Jr. probably takes the coke serious. So, so with that being said, um, <laughs> Janae, Janae, go release your own Kraken and just come up <laughs> in these lives and just tell the truth, shame the Thank devil. You. The Thank reason you. why people come at you so hard, Janae, is because you want to come in with this sweet little voice mm -hmm. as if you're all innocent and you want to mm -hmm. come in and, and, and you want to espouse your Christianity. Mm. That part, but that. you need to be your is you, what you really are espousing is your hypocrisy. That because part. you are a hypocrite, Janae. Mm, mm. You're 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 a hypocrite. Mm. You don't care. I don't care either, Janae. Mm. I, I don't care either. You are a hypocrite. You are the perpetual victim wannabe. Mm. You are a perpetual victim wannabe. And Janae, all you have to do is ask for repentance. Just come in and say, you know what, you guys? I'm sorry for being a terrible human being. Will you guys forgive me? And I guarantee yeah. you, a mass majority of us would say absolutely. Because we believe in grace. Yeah. We believe in redemption. Mm. But but you have to come with a redemptive heart. Preach. So with that being said, Hey Zeus, have a wonderful week, my man. Have a wonderful right. week, and um, keep keep you telling too. truth over these maga demons, brother. You have I a great day. You too, my brother. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's give Nutty Professor <laughs> a, a round of applause. Yeah, Janae, just come into the live, turn on your camera, all right, and repent. We would love to have you converted to the being an agent of uh, 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 an agent of light and not an agent of darkness all right we can we can help facilitate you getting that maga demon out of you but you got to be willing to do it all right you got to want to be saved Janae. we can't save you unless you want to save yourself you got to be willing to turn your back on your so-called friends you know my mom always said a friend is someone that would die for you and janae let's be honest none of those people that you hang out with would die for you the only person you know would die for you is supposedly your lord and savior jesus christ but you have to let him in he's knocking on your heart janae you gotta let him in at some point all right because if you don't it's like i've been saying you're gonna lift up your eyes in hell hell is truly going to be your portion Janine. it's on the menu for you all right mod can't save you from hell conservative lynn she can't save you none of those folks can all right now i just might be able to but you gotta listen all right <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right. All right. All right. Uh, let's go. All right. I see you, Miss Boss Diva. I see you. All right. And and you too, Zipa. Uh, yes, Dark Snuggles. Yes. Uh, isn't I just want to say you are handsome. Okay, you are handsome. I don't know why Nutty came in here. Nutty always talking like a Detroit Lion thinking he's going to make it to the Super Bowl. That's, and he won't. That's fair. That's you know fair. what I'm saying? I mean, all that talk. Everybody yeah. thinks they're going to win here. But mm -hmm. at the end, Snuggles will win. Yeah. That's, not good, that's, not now. that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. You always, <laughs> you, trying, always you always seem to make progress, Snuggles. Absolutely. And then, you, and then you, you know, you take one step forward and you take not two, but maybe ten right. step backwards. Right. What gives? Well, can I can I talk on a serious note here? Um I did send uh Swervin a, a nice note, uh, if you can open up his mail. Uh, okay. that's on a serious note. Um, but That's back fair. to politics, I know I'm horrible to, with him on politics, but on a serious note, Swer, uh, Swerve, I'm still praying for you and um, on that. I'm going through my stuff this week, too, as well. How, how's that going for you, by the way? Um, you I, know, got the I, bone, I, I have a bone marrow this Friday, 
so I'm a little okay. nervous uh, for that. Uh, so we'll see. Okay. And there's two weeks to find out. I have to wait two weeks after that. Isn't that horrible? The wait time. Um, yeah. But on a serious well, note, take care of yourself. Yeah, take care for of sure. yourself. For sure. Right. That one. But um, um, and to anybody out there that's not feeling well or, or having health problems, Democrat or Republican, doesn't matter. Just get better. Mm -hmm. Work on your health, and work on work on everything that you can for your for you for yourselves personally. On that note, um, I think I'll probably leave it on a good note. But, um, but yeah, I'm nervous this week, Zeus. I am nervous. Well, hang in there and you know prioritize your health. All right, uh, for sure. That's sure. the that's the most important thing to do. Yeah. And you know, lay off lay off the Donald Trump. Perhaps that might um, help out a little bit. Absolutely too. not, because um, with Biden care, it's not working. You know, I got. I, I got I, 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 are you are you going to are you going to Democrat hospitals or are you going to Republican? Oh, definitely hospitals? Republican um, Republican hospitals. You know because they believe in drilling drilling arteries in the heart um, instead mm. of just leaving you to die. You know because they don't because by because well, Biden hospitals they don't drill. You know what I'm saying? Well, 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 I, I encourage you to consider going to a Democrat <laughs> hospital. All right. I mean, and I oh, do no, mean no. that. I don't want to die there because they might notice snuggles and they just leave me in a room. <laughs> all right. Well, listen. All Make right, sure bro. you take care of yourself, bro, and, and good yeah. luck at yeah. your appointment, all right? Yeah, love you, man. And and uh, right. everybody out here, tru truthfully, um, let's just let's just be united in a way, too, as well. Okay, guys? We're all American. All right. We'll all work right, on it. All right. All right. We'll work on that, all right? Ladies and gentlemen, let's give Snuggles a round of applause. Right? <laughs> we, don't want no, we don't want nothing bad to happen to, to, Absolutely. to people Thanks, when it comes bro. to their health and things like that. But when it comes to politics, uh Snuggles is going to have to get to the back of the line. and I Get out of here. That. Get out of yeah. here. Take care, bro. <laughs> later, 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 later. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, yeah. See, that that was that was decent. But, you know, he's going through something very, very terrible. So, you know, I, you know, the gloves are off, but I'm still I'm still a human being, ladies and gentlemen. I have a heart. All right. Come on. But when it comes to politics, I'll say this. Snuggles is 110 percent wrong. Anybody that listens to him and his political beliefs. You're setting yourself up for failure. And I, and listen, I just had a good conversation with him, but I'm not saying that behind his back. I'm saying it to him right here. When it comes to politics and his support for Donald Trump, don't listen to him. It's bad for you at all levels. Trust me. All right. Uh, good morning. Oh, Snuggles, you're out of time. Snuggles, got to go. Oh, he didn't even last the full three minutes. All right. All right. Good morning, uh, z -Pac. How are you doing, my good friend? Uh -huh. We're doing well. We were in that oh. live the other night, and that was yeah. exciting, wasn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. They threw all <coughs> kinds of lies at us. They threw all kinds of, you know, it's that sign language that I like to say, right? The shame and the insults, the guilt and the need to be right. That's all they had. They had no facts. Yeah, I mean, you did you a know, great job. You and, did a great job. Oh, well, thank you, Zeus. I learned from the best. You know, it's very hard to to do what you do in the kingdom. But, you know, mm -hmm. if if I could if I could actually try to be half of what Zeus is, uh, you know, that would be great. You're 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 well more than half. You're just like we're like brothers almost. You know, oh, all of my uh, brothers from another yeah. mother, you'd say, maybe. Ex exactly. They wow. can't stand you because they know what you represent. You represent the truth. Yes. Exactly. And yes, I see the I see the OHI. Cut it out. Cut it out. Mm -hmm. There was a rough loss mm -hmm. this weekend. Stop it. Stop it. Uh, <laughs> Let but, them know. Yeah, you know, listen, OHIO, what, what do I expect? Did I expect to win? No, but come on. But anyway, mm. uh, that's where I spent out my frustration Saturday night, you know, after a very difficult uh, Penn State loss, as usual, to Ohio State. You right. know, we, we were in there. We were uh, cutting it up. And, uh, yeah. And it, and it was uh, big, I believe it was filthy, but maybe, and a couple other people, big, filthy, conservative or whatever. Um, but I said the hard truth. Sometimes you just have to say the things that matter and you have to, you have to actually attack them. You know, we, we say that Donald Trump said that, you know, injecting bleach into your arm, but they mm -hmm. said, no, it wasn't bleach. It was disinfectant. There you go. So they want to get technical. Yeah, they're so technical over there. They're so technical. And, and well, well, well. If they're so technical, this is the question they refuse to answer. If Donald Trump was so good, why didn't he get reelected? Yeah, I, if he was such a good person, uh, I don't know. Uh, they you don't know, have any answers for that. They 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 don't have answers for that. But uh, you know, that's a uh, that's an exciting 
Mm -hmm. and, and hold on one second. I gotta I gotta handle affairs here. Give me a second. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, so, yeah, if Donald Trump was so good, MAGA, why didn't he get reelected? And you can't say cheating because there's no evidence of outcome determinative fraud. All right, go read the indictment that Jack Smith took very, very valuable time to craft and share out. There was not enough fraud to overturn the outcome of the election. The reason that Donald Trump didn't get reelected is quite simple because there were other Republicans who did get elected, but it was. It was across the board throughout this country. Donald it, Trump was unfit to be the president, and that's absolutely. why absolutely the technicalness is what kills me uh, yeah. about it. And uh, and the fact is, you know, we've got people uh, that are saying, well, they're they're trying to find the clips of the things, and they try to twist the words, and they, you know, that's a cinnamon, bro. Like it, that's mm. all it is. It, it bleach disinfectant. What kills it in less than a minute? Bleach. We know that. It's yeah. like it's like they will do whatever they can to defend him. To the depths of hell and beyond, they'll they'll just keep going until mm. until the uh, the wheels come off, and maybe when mm. it's fallen, maybe when they're going off the cliff, uh, they'll finally realize that they followed too far. You know, yeah. maybe yeah. that's maybe that's when they'll realize it. Uh, but I do have to handle some business here, my friend Zeus. Uh, All right. Thanks for uh, if you would have pulled me up earlier, there was no no business happening. But you know, it's all it's all love. It's all, it's all love, love Zeus. It's, all right. It's all love. I get it. It's Monday morning. All right. And we are already right. past my time slot. All right, ladies all and right. gentlemen. Bye. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give Z-Pac a round of applause. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I got to give it up one more. Oh, we got Miss Boss Diva. Greetings, Miss Boss Diva. How are you doing this lovely morning? Greetings, Zeus. How are you? I'm all right. Just another day in the kingdom tending to affairs as usual. And you are always doing the Lord's work, which is Amen. very greatly appreciated. And, you, um, you know, maintaining that high level of handsomeness mm. as you always do. Right. Thank you. Right? Thank you know you. what I mean? Every yes, angle. Absolutely. And Every yes. angle, no matter the lighting, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to let I'm trying I'm trying to let Nutty know, right? Okay. You know, and well, you know, I would say something about snuggles. I I've actually never heard you uh, leave on a high note, a positive note, or any kind of high anything, right? <laughs> Other than right. BS, but right. Um, you know, I'm kind of kind of proud to witness that for a change. Like I mean. I didn't know he yeah. had a winning, to be honest right. with you. Right. Um, yeah, but uh, <laughs> I'm laughing That's a at fair, you. That's I'm a laughing fair at observation. you about your little uh, jungle fever crush, you know, Janae Gatto. <laughs> <laughs> you was like, um, no, it will never <laughs> happen. Only in your yeah. dreams, yeah. girl. <laughs> yeah. she, she's going to have to lay there and burn. Yeah, she's going to. You know, that, <laughs> that spirit of lust. She has a spirit of lust in it, possibly. Oh, I have a whole, have a whole bunch of uh, batteries ready, you know, at the bedside yeah, side yeah. or something. I don't know what you gonna yeah. need, but <laughs> that was so funny to me. <laughs> she, ah, she, she, she gonna know keep that jungle the fever on high, huh? <laughs> <laughs> don't make me play that song. Listen, when I play that song, it be in my head all day long. I'm like this. This is something else. <laughs> Who would have thought in 2023 we'd be talking about Jungle Fever? Okay, out. yeah. Wait, wait. How old is that song? About that 30 came out years in '91. Yeah, it came out in '91. <laughs> yeah, it's over 30 years old. Wow, I didn't think they still had Jungle Fever. But you know, you know, in her in her defense, you know, what I'm saying, mm -hmm. I mean, Zeus's handsomeness exudes all of this. You know, I guess uh, uh, I don't know lust. Mm. You know, lust of flesh is real when, you know, she see you close up when you go close in the camera. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. say, hey, Mega, mm. playtime's over. There you right? Oh, oh. And she the gloves are off. Oh, oh, she thinks that I'm talking to her. I'm telling Cut you, it out. <laughs> No lies detected. But anyway, um, <laughs> Keisha, I'm going to... <laughs> Oh my God! What well, it we ain't no that? worse than you and Hunter Biden, okay? You oh, know what I mean? Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> I jungle, jungle fever like a mother. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah, you know what I mean? It happens on both sides of the spectrum. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, but anyway. Oh, <laughs> 
I don't want to talk politics right now because I'm telling you, I'm about to go on live actually, and oh, okay. I'm, I'm going to uh, discuss the upcoming 2025 project that they okay. think so that they're going the to put on, on on the books, but it's not going to happen. Are, are you hosting? I am. Oh, Indeed. so we gonna go? Oh, it's pod laying at your house then. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What time it's is that? Chilling with Boss Diva. Um, a little bit after you, like okay, nine okay. o'clock. Okay. Okay. Well, listen. I'm, I'm gonna test go. the waters out. See, you know what? What it do? And uh, yeah, but that's something that I definitely want to discuss. And and um, well, I you know, I think it's very important that we get that message out there because the messaging in that in and of itself. Now, I don't know if you've even read some of that book. Or the, I saw you know, doc- some of it. Yeah, I'm um, I'm on page um, 520 now. It's a 920 mm. page document. Um, so, but it is, whew, it's serious, it's man. Evil. It's, it's evil. It's very, evil. very evil, very evil, and yeah. that in and of itself should scare the living daylights out of even the worst of MAGA, because <laughs> they want to do. They don't care if you are MAGA. <laughs> that mega right. crap is out the window with Project Twenty Twenty Five, okay? Just to let you know. So, yeah, yeah um, I'm gonna get deeper into depth with that and see right. how how that series goes. Well, we're gonna join you over there, all right? I'm gonna try to join you, all right? Okay, Zeus. Oh, I feel so honored. Thank you so much. Yeah. Sweetie. Now, I don't know if I'll be on time, but you know, I but that's all right. Things. You know, but I'll, I'll I'll definitely slide through. All right. All right, Zeus. Thank you so much, and of course, you know, I love you very much. Much respect. Love you too. Love everybody yep. in the kingdom. Good morning, and everybody uh, have a great day. So hopefully, see you in my live. All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up to Miss Boss Diva. <laughs> Yes, and the jungle fever comment is real. It's okay. It's okay. All right. You know, the Bible says you have not because you ask not. All right, Janae. But listen, don't you dare think that you can have any of this. Lord, 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 have mercy. Stick the ruler. What was all of that? Did that sound like you cutting grass or something? I don't know. But I guess that's a good place to put a pin in it, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my God. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm well past my time slot, all right? Uh, it is time for Zeus to wrap it up and get up out of here, all right? Uh, wait a second, Stick the Ruler. Are you back? Hold on, hold on. I think you said you're back, all right? Are you back? My bad, Zeus, man. Yeah, you caught me in the middle of working, man. You you'd have let me know, I would have halted what I what? had going on. Oh, okay. You're the last but, person that I'm talking to this morning. What okay. Got, my good friend? So I'm going to give it to you real fast. You know, I'm a media buff. I love uh, entertainment, or should I say mm-hmm. entertainment buff. Um, yeah. Right now, what I see is the Austin Powers series. Mm. Okay. You go by Triple H. Austin mm-hmm. Powers, he had his swag, yeah. and then you have Mr. Snuggles over there trying to trying to sneak it in as Doctor <laughs> Evil. Okay, Janae, you're the mini me. Okay, oh. Oh. and uh, and uh, <laughs> I forgot the other guy. Y'all said the other guy's name. That's the son. You know, he was balding in part part two, and then on your end, you have Miss Boss Diva. Or Takesha could play either one could play either role as uh Miss uh Cleo pa- Foxy Cleopatra. Mm, so I mean, it, it, you 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 it's can see the sides. People, yeah, it's a movie. It's a movie. Yeah. People, pick pick your side. Understand that the movie was already written. It's already foretold. You already see the outcome. Pick mm. the right side. People, please pick the right side. Um, if you want to be with Doctor Evil. Instead of it being his pinky up, it's his eyebrow up. You know what it is. Come on, man. You know what it is. Come on. Yeah, Janae, that's a good one. You, you, oh, yeah, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. And, and Janae, you're, you're walking around acting like you're mini-me. You repeat <laughs> and you spew everything that this man says. Now, I, I smelt it when I came in. I smelt it when I came up. Snuggles, stop it. Just stop it. We, we, you, 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 you say you're about uh, unity and peace, but it's just a way to get your foot 
in the door. You stuck your foot in the door. We let you in. That spirit is just swirling around in the kingdom. Zeus, stop yeah. letting him in. He's, he's a con man. Now, he is a I stick. con Don't man. Don't you think I know this? Don't you oh think I, I know I, this? I'm Zeus. Triple H. I, I mean, I, 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 no I well, I, I mean, I know you're all no knowing. There you go. I know you're all knowing. And uh, it, it's just a thing, you know, snakes will slither and they will try to slither and past your foot. Their heads. And thank and you. Thank you heads. very much. And, and you know, Don't sometimes just like you. Down. Exactly. Just like you said, we don't even need anything. You're going to destroy yourself. Mm. Whether it's whether it's your lawyers, MAGA, mm. make attorneys get attorneys. Okay, so now that we now that we know that, now that we know that, now that we know who's winning, we don't have to say we're winning. You know, we, 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 we don't even have to say it. Oh, I'm sorry about that, but yeah, we, we don't we're we're winning. Yeah, we're winning. So with that being said, I just want everybody to understand that it's a movie. Pick your side. Pick it well. It was already written. It's already over. There is no gold members. We have no gold members. Mm -hmm. So just keep going. Keep seeing the truth. Keep uh, putting the truth out there. And MAGA, you'll have to lie on that one. That's all I'll say about that, Zeus. You have right, to lie on that. Yeah. So have a good day in the kingdom, Zeus. All I'm right, sorry about that, that money. Yes, I will. Yes, sir, I will. And thank you Keep for letting me in. Bite. You're welcome. Uh, all Bye, day, baby. every day. Fair enough. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for Stick the Ruler. <laughs> no lies detected. Yes, um, ladies and gentlemen, that is very serious, all right, what, what he mentioned, all right? I know a lot of people are very, very protective of Zeus and the kingdom, and they don't understand the the relationship between Zeus and Snuggles, but don't worry. I have my hand on my hammer, all right? And at any given moment, it will go down and crush that MAGA demon, all right? I know exactly what I'm doing. I'm a trained expert, so by, by, but make sure you don't let what these folks say get to you, all right, ladies and gentlemen? And on that note, I got to get up out of here, ladies and gentlemen. If I didn't get to you, don't worry. I'll get to you next time, all right? It was a pleasure, once again, hosting all of you beautiful people. Special shout-out to my subscribers. Special shout-out to my moderators and to all of my fellow Democrats, Americans out there, and Independent and Republicans, real Republicans. And even to those who have the MAGA demon run, running deep inside of them and raging, the fact that you sat through this special broadcast is very, very impressive, all right? So uh, I will be back tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen, same Zeus time, same Zeus channel. And until then, take care. Zeus was handsome in the kingdom. And I really am the most handsome. <laughs> Yes, grab your goose, John. Yes. Today, 
you might as well subscribe. At this point, Janae, just subscribe, right? Lindsay! Thank you, Lindsay. Excellent live you did this weekend. I was listening. You did a great job. You really are listening to Sue. <laughs> Brother Anthony, I saw you. Uh, Nutty Professor. Listen, jealousy is a sign of weakness. Cut it out. Yes, Angie, love you too. I need a jungle fever emo. All right, Reggie, I'll create the jungle fever emo. And we'll make sure we, we share that with Janae when she comes in here. Like a mongoose. I mean, at this point, she probably. We all know Janae is already sitting at the front of the class every morning, right? She's right there in front. Thank you, Lizzie. We all know Janae is sitting in front right now. First one into the show. No matter what account she has, she's definitely in class. All right. DJ, back over Phil Yeah, you know. You know that's true. All right, let's get ready. Let's get ready for the deranged Jack Smith. Miss Boss Diva. Oh yes, Reggie. Stacy is right behind her. Stacy won't turn her camera on for this though. Let's go. All right. Let's go. He's deranged. He's deranged. He's the rage. Yeah, Oh, he's the rage. 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 Donald Trump is indicted and they take one charge and they turn it into 36 charges. Right, right, right. Derange Jackson. And he's a big Trump hater. Openly, he's a Trump hater. And his wife is even more of a Trump hater. All right, have a great rest of your...